It's Mr. Fleming again. I'm joined here by Mr. Kaywood. We're going to review our customary units of measure here, inches, feet, and yards. Remember, inch is the smallest unit of measurement. We know an inch is about a quarter. A little tiny part of your finger here, or a small paper clip. We use rulers to measure inches. We also use rulers to measure a foot. So one ruler is 12 inches or one foot. Mr. Kaywood, what else can I use to, this, to figure out how long a foot is? Uh, you can use your arm from uh, about your elbow to your wrist. Kids, you might want to have your hand out like this because your arm's a little bit smaller. But uh, that's a foot, it's from elbow to wrist or a foot long sandwich. Next we have a yard, which I can show you how big a yard is using a yardstick. Mr. Kaywood, what else can we use to measure a yard if we don't have one of these hands? You handy? can use your uh, an adult arm usually from your shoulder all the way to the tip of your hand, or you can, if you have a baseball bat out in the garage, bring it in the house, say, Mom, use my baseball bat to measure. All right, so it's important that you remember these relationships of measurement. Mr. Kaywood, say it with me. 12, 12 inches, inches equals one foot. Three feet equals one yard and 36 inches equals one yard. Next, we're gonna see if we can stump Mr. Kaywood. I know he knows that there are 12 inches in one foot, but I'm gonna see if we can trick him. Mr. Kaywood, how many inches are there in two feet? Two feet? Ah, oh, man, two feet. Well, I know if I use my anchor chart, I have one foot is 12 inches. So if I had two feet, I could take 12 inches and add together twice. And that should give me two plus two is four, one plus one is two, 24 inches. So your answer, to answer your question, Mr. Fleming, two feet is 24 inches. Nice job, Mr. Kaywood. That was an easy one though, that was warm up. How many inches are there in four feet? Four feet, Mr. Fleming. Well, if I know that, uh, well, I guess I'll do it like this. 12, 12, 12, 12. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't even have to care for that one. Then in my tens place, one, two, three, four, 48 inches. Ah, ah, I can't stump him. He knows his inches and feet. Let's see if we can trick him with feet and yards. Ooh. I know he knows there are three feet in one yard. Mr. Kaywood, do you know how many feet are in two yards? Two yards. Well, if one yard, oh, one yard equals three feet, and I need to do two yards, I would take three plus three. In class, that is six, everybody says out loud six feet and two yards. All right, all right. I'm just gonna go, just go right ahead and say how many feet are there in six yards? Six yards, Mr. Fleming? Mm -hmm. Six yards. Oh my goodness. Six yards. Well, I know every yard, I'm just adding three. So I gotta add three six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I count, everybody, when they count threes, they use this trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 feet, Mr. Fleming. Mr. Kaywood's got it. Mr. Kaywood, I'm gonna clap my hands for you. Nice oh, work, nice you. work. All right, so Mr. Kaywood shows a few tricks we can use when we're trying to figure out how many inches are in how many feet, or how many feet are in how many yards. It's important to be able to do this stuff. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the tools we use to measure things. On this picture here, see a few different tools. We have a ruler, a yardstick, got a measuring tape that looks like this, and we also have a measuring tape that looks like this. All right, Mr. Kaywood, which tool would be best to measure the length of a pair of scissors? Well, I know a pair of scissors is usually kind of small. Let me see the yardstick. If I had, here, let me get a pair of scissors too. I got a pair of scissors, right? I got this small pair of scissors and I have this huge yardstick. 
I don't think that would make a whole lot of sense because the yardstick is way too big. So I'm gonna get through that out. Uh, let me see this thing. This is what people use a lot when they're measuring uh, round objects. Scissors aren't really a round object. That thing seems like kind of a pain, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, I'm gonna go in uh, in the garage and get the old tape measure out. Now, this is actually pretty handy, Mr. Fleming. <laughs> I probably could measure it with this, but this thing is 30 feet long, so this thing could go across the room. I think the easiest thing to measure, a pair of scissors, would be my trusty ruler. And that pair of scissors is a little over five inches, so it's about five inches long using nice a ruler. Job, Mr. K. Wood. It's important when we're picking the right tool that we use something that's not only the easiest to use, but that's made the right shape or size. If it's flat, we want to use a ruler or yardstick. If it's bumpy or has shapes, we might want to use a measuring tape. Okay, let's look at something else. How about a basketball, Ooh, Mr. K. -Wood? Basketball. So if basketball's I, round. Basketball's round. Well, if I had something that was round, I wouldn't want to use this because I gotta go all the way around the basketball and this thing is not gonna bend. If I this tape measure, if I take that and try to bend it, I couldn't really do that around a basketball. But Mr. Fleming, your head kind of looks like a basketball. <laughs> so if I had to measure your basketball head, because it's mm -hmm. around like a basketball. I think the best thing would be to use this thing. Look at that. How round is my basketball head? Your Mr. basketball Taylor? head, Mr. Fleming, is 24 inches around. All right. That sounds good. You have to pay extra at the hat store, Mr. Fleming. <laughs> All right. So if, if it's round, we want to use something that's bendy. We can't really bend a ruler. We'll break it. So we use this tape measure because it goes around something round. All right, let's do one more. Mr. Kaywood, if you are going to measure the length of one of your children's bedrooms, what would you use? Well, I know if it's a bedroom, and a bedroom actually, it's gonna be smaller in this room. But if I had to take this ruler, and I, or this yardstick, I'm gonna have to put this down. I'm gonna put my finger here. I'm gonna have to keep going across that wall probably like seven or eight times. That sounds like a pain. How about a ruler? A ruler? That seems like even a bigger pain. To measure a room with a ruler, Mr. Fleming? I know. Crazy. Terrible idea. Let me see that thing. That seems a little longer. I can straighten it out, but still, this is not going to go across the room. But Mr. Fleming, if I have one of these trusty measuring tapes, I can go all the way across the room. There we go. And measure my bedroom. So I think the best thing to measure a bedroom would be a measuring tape. I think you're right. All right. We just, showed, we just showed you these examples to get you guys thinking. When you're measuring something, you want to make sure you use the tool that is right for the job. So you just think, how big is it? Is it flat? Is it bumpy? And that can help you figure out which tool you use. So when you're practicing, I want you boys and girls thinking about this when you go. Mr. K, would you have anything to add? No, stay safe out there, guys. And before you go digging through your parents' garage or cabinets for these tools, make sure you ask them first.